What you see here is one way in UML to show an interface. An interface is a collection of operations that have no implementation but that specifies a particular service of a class or a component. In other words, an interface represents one or more related services implemented by some class or component. And since we're in the section about class diagrams, we'll be talking about classes and interfaces for the rest of this movie. So let's see how this works. We have an interface here, and let's give that interface a couple of operations. These operations cannot be implemented by the interface itself. It needs a class to implement the operations for it. So here's a class and we'll give the class a couple of operations. But because this class is going to be implementing interface 1, it will have the same operations that are declared in interface 1. Now we show that this class implements this interface using a realization arrow. And that looks like that, a dashed line arrow with a triangular arrowhead. So you might be thinking that an interface is similar to an abstract class, and this is true. But in an interface, all of its features are abstract. Notice also that in the interface classifier box, there are only two compartments, unlike in a class classifier, which has three. No compartment for attributes in an interface, only operations. Also, in some programming languages, such as Java, a class may inherit from only one other class, one standard or abstract class. With interfaces, however, a class may implement multiple interfaces. So class 1 here could implement both interface 1 and interface 2. On the flip side of that, multiple classes may also implement one particular interface. So we could have interface 1 realized or implemented by both class 1 and class 2. Both of those configurations are permissible when you're using interfaces. So an interface cannot be directly instantiated, but any class that implements, or as I said in UML parlance, realizes an interface must provide an implementation of the operations the interface contains. Now there are two ways to represent an interface in the UML. One is the way we've been working with. You use a classifier box of two compartments that is stereotyped with the keyword interface. The other is to use a circle and a circle just like that can represent an interface. When you are showing which class implements a particular interface, using this notation you use the realization arrow. Using this notation you simply draw a line from the interface to the class that implements or realizes that interface. This is called a provided interface. Class 3 here provides the implementation to interface 3. There is also, get some more room here, there is also a kind of interface called a required interface. And rather than this lollipop symbolism, a required interface looks like that, sort of a cup or a socket. So a provided interface means that this class provides the implementation to this interface. A required interface means that this class requires this interface in order to do its functionality. So to this means that this interface needs some other class to implement it. And the way you show that again is to use the ball or the lollipop.
So we've got this interface here. Class 3 requires it and Class 4 provides it. So that means you can connect the two to show that this interface and this interface are the same. You can use a dependency arrow pointing from the required to the provided interface or you can use an assembly connector. Well, if your UML tool allows it, Poseidon's being a little cranky about that here. But you can use an assembly connector that puts the ball and the cup together to show that Class 3 requires this interface and Class 4 provides it. But if your modeling tool does what Poseidon's doing here, use the dependency arrow to connect the interfaces, the required and provided interfaces. Interfaces can be useful for defining common behavior across several classes, and the flexibility that you have in how you represent interfaces in your class diagrams lets you emphasize certain things about the interface. Here we're specifying its operations, or it lets you make your diagram more compact, as you can with the assembly connector.